Hello, this is Sir Stillwater. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the castle system. So the castle system is something that's available in, the, in Forge of Empires to help provide some different bonuses and boosts for, uh, for really any era. But they're particularly valuable in the earlier eras uh, where a, a Forge point here or a little bit of a boost there uh, really makes all the difference in the world because there's not too much going on uh, boost-wise or Forge point-wise elsewhere. So first, let's go ahead and talk about what is the castle system. Uh, the castle system is in the upper left-hand corner of the village. It's a little building with the blue roof, the little castle-looking thing with the blue roof. You notice here's the village and then here's that castle. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here and click into my castle system. So what the castle system offers is a daily collection of some sort where you can go ahead and you can collect points. It generates some points every day that will go ahead and add to your total. I'm a currently in this world, I'm a, or this, uh, yeah, this uh, world, I'm a level one uh, castle. So I've already unlocked my first set of rewards and I'll show you what's available at level one and I'll just kind of introduce the next couple levels just to give you some perspective. So here I've got a thousand points, castle points I think they're called, uh, towards my 3000 which I need to unlock level two. I can do a daily collection so let's go ahead and collect it and these points grow each day through a series of seven days and I believe that that counter resets. So here I'm on streak days. Uh, my points today I could pick up 20. If I'm consistent tomorrow I can get 25 for tomorrow and so on. After seven days the count resets down to whatever it is. I think maybe 15 or no maybe 10. 10, 15, 20 I'm guessing. And then it just kind of continues over and over. But the more consecutive days each week uh, the more points you get towards your, your collection. So here I go now I've got 1,020 and so on. Uh, you also get points for, for battles. So if you're doing guild expedition, things like that, or just attacking in general. Um, if you're having battles, you'll get some points, maybe some other things as well. Um, also, some of the daily quests will reward out in castle points as well if you complete those daily quests. So that's how you, that's how you get the points. But then again, what do these points do? What do these levels actually provide right so level one first off, like anything else in the game you start off as a level zero and then you get to level one once you get i believe it was 500 um maybe yeah maybe 500 i think was the minimum to get you to level one and in that you get some combination of things you get a one-time reward which you get immediately at the level like when you collect kind of like when you level an era then you get a permanent reward which is the boost that you see and that's we'll talk about those in just a second and then you have a daily collectible so every day you check in and you can collect and you'll get some stuff which is pretty cool really really helpful in these early eras so right now I'm an iron age in this world and this is really valuable in this case because right now outside of my guild boost in my daily collection um, I my daily hourly collections for forge points I'm pretty low daily volume but this actually helps with that so first off, the one-time reward, when I hit level one, I got an award where I had a, in my inventory, I have a, a one-time reward of finish all coin production. That's a one-time use item. Uh, it's in my inventory. I can use it whenever I want. Or later on, I can go ahead and sell it at the, at the, um, oh, whatchamacallit, where you can go ahead and sell stuff. <laughs> my mind just went blank. Okay, next we talk about permanent rewards, and these are really valuable. So first off, this is an opportunity, even though I don't have a Zeus, this provides an opportunity to get a 2% boost on my attack and defense for my defending units and my attacking units. So this is huge. This is equivalently a almost a to a level 1. This is two-thirds of the, what you get with a level 1 Zeus, because Zeus gives you 3% per level for the first 10 levels or whatever. But right now I can get these immediately just by being a level 1. I get a little bit of a boost, gives me a slight competitive advantage uh, when I'm going you know toe-to-toe -to -toe with uh, either neighbors that I'm attacking um, or being attacked from or if I'm doing like guild expedition uh, continent map things like that so a little bit it gives you a little bit of an edge not not crazy but uh, just a, something is better than nothing so those are the attack bonus boost sides now we look at some of the production side because this game is really geared out where you have a couple thing couple different dimensions right you've got the attack and warfare side you have the commerce side and then you have the community side so in the community side in the friends tavern I'll get a boost of a 1% boost on my collection from friends tavern which is nice and then also which basically otherwise you'd be buying I think it's the the platter or the tray or whatever it's called in Friends Tavern. I'll do a video on that here shortly. Um, and also here from a collection perspective, and this is uh, just general production all the time, and this isn't like a happiness in where you have to stay happy in order to get the boost. Uh, you get a 5% boost in coin production and supply production all day, every day. So that's pretty, that's pretty big. It's a nice little boost.
Um, also, you get a daily collectible, which is very nice. And in this case, it's going to give one forge point and five current era goods. And I believe those goods are all going to come in one of the random of the five items for that era. So let's go ahead and collect that. Here's my daily reward box. It's going to add it right into my inventory. You see I've got my uh, 11th forge point up top here. I had 10, now I have my 11, and the clock has been reset to recollect later, which is going to be at the start of the next day, because it's about 11.30 uh, local time right now. So there you go. So that's that's the castle system. That's all there is to it. Uh, this is non-lootable. It sits there and waits for you to collect. As long as you're consecutive days, you continue to get that extra little step that you get here for your daily collections, and so on. So this goes up different levels, like here when I get to level 2, uh, which means I'm going to have 3,000 points, castle points at that point. Um, you get a few different avatars, a couple different avatars. Uh, you get a finish all supply uh, collection item for your inventory, and then you get some boosts again on your attack and coin product, coin collection, and or coin collection, and so on. But you'll see here now we get it up to four percent. This isn't four additional. This is goes from two percent to a four percent. So and that keeps going up by level. And we go ahead and scroll down here. We see with some other stuff. Yeah. So here you get now you're at two percent friends tavern level three and so on, and it keeps going up. Like this is kind of neat. Once you get to level three, you can you can get a rogue hideout, and those just be really scarce. Uh, really scarce things. So either way, that kind of gives you an ID, idea of uh, what this has to offer. I'm going to kind of go this way and just show you where it maxes out. Okay, whoops, let me go here. So level 20, and you look up here, you're like 60% boost in attack. So you can really get, you've got to get some serious points to get up to this level. But um, there's some pretty high gains, and they just continue to grow. So pretty neat thing. That is the castle system. Um, it's definitely worth considering if you're in multiple worlds. Um, it's, uh, it's worth visiting those worlds every day to do that. Uh, you'll notice here in the uh, daily challenges I mentioned earlier that you can go ahead and get, let's go ahead and choose that. And it tells you what your reward's going to be. In this case, I can get a reward of a random item and 100 castle points. I'm really just here to show the castle point side of this. So even though you collect 20 or 25 or 30 per day, you can pick up 100 every day just from completing daily challenges. And plus you get the bonus if you complete the streak of seven. And these don't have to be consecutive days. I'll cover this in another video. But um, it really helps get those early levels. Uh, you can get up to level three, level four, uh, level five even of the castle uh, pretty quickly, relatively speaking. And it gives you some serious bonuses. So last thing I want to show is I mentioned those 2% bonuses. So if you come in here, I have, uh, if you go into your town hall, and I look at my boost overview, I've got my 20% for being happy. And that's dependent on staying in a happy mode, you know, in a happy st state, the happiness of your town. Uh, but this, I've got a 5% coin right now. Uh, do your activity in the castle system. Well, I got 5%. I thought it said 2%. That's interesting. Um, but either way, then I got a 5% uh, supply. And there's my attack. Oh, I'm sorry. It was 2% on the attack and defense. And then 5% on the supply and, and uh, coin. And then, um, so and I get a little bit of boost in here, I think, also from my from being in my guild. So that's I think it's what this uh, guild battleground attack is. So, but that's it. Just wanted to show that. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them below. Um, if you like this, yeah, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. If you don't, would mind. It helps uh, other people find the video, and they may find uh, they may find it helpful and useful for uh, advancing their game as well. So, thanks a lot. Have a great day. Bye.